Hi, my name is Mary Montion from Montion's Biscotti Bakery in Plainville, Massachusetts. Today I'm going to make a biscotti trifle in my home kitchen where I started my business 20 years ago. A trifle is a much richer dessert that combines our biscotti with whipped cream. And you could also layer it with fruit, you could layer it with more crushed biscotti, whatever you want. Uh, just think about the things that your family likes and use them. Uh, the biscotti trifle is really, really easy to make. It makes a delicious dessert, it makes a stunning centerpiece, and it's also something that's fun to do with the kids. So um, the key is to do it one or two days in advance. So the whipped cream that you'll be using has time to absorb into the crispy, crunchy biscotti, giving it a cake-like texture. So now instead of having a crispy, crunchy biscotti, you'll really have a, a chocolate cream cake that's really delicious. It's a nice variation. So what you'll do is take 24 pieces of biscotti. That's about um, 24 ounces and about 12 cups by volume. And what you want to do, I have a package of six right here. To make it easy, you want to break them into bite-sized pieces. And start, rather than taking one piece out of the bag at a time, you could just break them all up like this. It takes me about maybe five, ten minutes to do 24 pieces. Or you could just take a hammer and mash them up. It doesn't matter if you get some dust. It just all works into the, into the trifle at the end. So just take your, you could take a hammer and flip the bag around and break them into bite-sized pieces. Get out a little, any anxiety or stress that you have. And then just empty them into a bowl, just like that. And then you could check around to um, make sure they're all small bite-sized pieces. If you see anything that is a little larger, you could break them. And when you're taking a piece, if you just twist it, it seems to break a little easier than just to snapping it in half. But actually, that didn't take long at all, so you'll probably be closer to five minutes to break it, break them up into bite-sized pieces. And this is what you'll end up with. Again, it's about 12 cups by volume, about 24 ounces, and it's really fast if you just take a hammer to it. It's less than five minutes. So then what you want to do is put these aside and get a large mixing bowl. This is one of my favorite bowls. And take four cups of heavy whipping cream. You don't want to use regular heavy cream or half and half. It's important that you use heavy whipping cream. You add two teaspoons of vanilla and three tablespoons of powdered sugar, which I sift because you don't want any lumps. If you want the cream sweeter, you could add one tablespoon of powdered sugar at a time and then taste it as you go along with. And then all you do is whip it up. I like this large bowl when I'm making a large biscotti trifle because the whipped cream gets very large and then once you add the biscotti pieces to it, the larger bowl ha gives you a lot of room. So that cream looks really nice and at this point you might want to take a spoon or your finger and taste the biscotti or taste the cream and see if it's sweet enough for you. If you want it a little sweeter, add the one tablespoon and just mix it in. Next thing you're going to do is take your bite-sized biscotti pieces and just dump them in along with all the dust and um, everything. It's just that simple. Mix it around with a spatula. Making sure each piece is covered with whipped cream. 
Okay, and this is what your mixture is going to look like. Again, remember to whip the cream until it's nice and stiff. And then you're going to pour it in a two-quart uh, trifle bowl. So we'll switch this around a little here. If you want to, you, all you have to do if you're in a real rush is just pour it in the bowl and you're done. If you want to get fancy, you could crush more biscotti um, and streusel it throughout the trifle, like I've done right here. I, there's maybe about six pieces of biscotti that I have ground in a food processor, and I just streusel it around the bowl, and again, the cream will absorb into the bite-sized pieces and it'll absorb into the ground biscotti and it just looks really pretty. If you don't have the time, don't even worry about it because people are going to be so wowed by this dessert, they won't even know that it's not there. But if you want to do something a little different, you could do that. And you could also use the crushed biscotti for ice cream as well. Then all you have to do is cover with cellophane and put it in the refrigerator for one or two days. And over that time period, the, again, the whipped cream is going to absorb into the crunchy biscotti, leaving it more cake-like, and it'll have a nice creamy texture. It'll be chocolatey and sweet. But if you have to serve it in the same day, no problem. I wouldn't hesitate. Okay, when you're ready to serve, whether you're, this is actually the fun part. You could add a little top, you've removed the cellophane and add some toppings. Um, you could drizzle with melted chocolate. I use our chocolate from the bakery. You could either, and I melt that, you could either use a spoon, which I have right here, or you could use a plastic glove and you could just drizzle it like so. And just stripe it along and don't even worry if it goes on the glass itself. It makes it look extra luscious. You could do a lot of different things with this. The other thing you could do is, um, got some chocolate on my fingers, add a cherry to the top. Again, stunning centerpiece, delicious dessert, or fun to do with the kids. Thank you. <laughs>